Hello everyone. Today I want to address an issue that all of you may run into if you're drilling clay or shale. Generally we can control those things, but sometimes Mother Nature just doesn't allow us to do that and we run into some problems such as this one, a balled up bit, or this one, you bend, build a, a clay boot or a sheath around your, your drill string and your drill pipe. And you, you look at that and you're not drilling anymore, you trip out of the hole, you pull all this gunk out with you, and you go, what in the world's happened here and what can I do about it? Well, obviously, as everything in the drilling industry, there's more than one factor that can play into this. How sticky is this clay or this shale that you're drilling? Does it swell up? Um, how much pump do you have? What's your annular velocity? What size cuttings are the bit actually making? Is a drag bit or a tricone bit going to make a difference in what you see? Have you added any inhibitive polymers to your mud system? But the first thing that comes to mind, and we hear it all the time, is I have to add soap to my mud to get rid of the stickiness. And in reality, soaps are surfactants or surface active agents that coat the surfaces of these sticky clays or these sticky shales to help to keep them from sticking back together. Great concept. It is part of the solution or can be part of the solution for this. But traditionally, these surfactants have a very big drawback. When you get enough into your drilling fluid, enough in your mud to actually do you some good, generally you've aerated the fluid. You've incorporated air, you've created foam, your pumps may start to cavitate, you can't move the fluid anymore, and you're just dead in the water and you haven't really solved the problem. So to that end, and luckily for us, the chemists are working on new technologies all the time, there's a new dry surfactant chemistry available to us from which we have created Penetrol Dry. And the very big advantage to this is you can get enough into your system to give you the results you're looking for without foaming, without aerating your mud system. You are still able to pump the system and get all of the benefits of having that surfactant in your system. And the added benefit is this is the first time a surfactant has really been able to be NSF Standard 60 certified for use in potable water well drilling. So here is a problem, here is our solution, give it a try. It gives you what you want with a completely new technology. Thank you.